Hi Aries, welcome to your no contact reading. We're gonna look into um, what happened, next possible contact, and next possible uh, course of action from your end and their end. So let's go ahead and start with Astro Dice. Also, I'm gonna do like Aries dealing with all signs, but that would be at the very end. So we have, this is Venus. Oops. We have third house and Libra. So Libra is the seventh house. Third house is the house of Gemini, which is the house of media, communication. Also, it's the house of siblings. And we have Venus as well. So I don't know if Venus is transiting your third house or your seventh house, but it looks like there's no balance when it comes to communication and love here. Um, while I was meditating, um, I was seeing someone just staring at the phone screen and they kept checking the clock and every time they check the clock it's kind of like a synchronistic number but it's not like it would be like 11 33 um it would be like it would be like 22 22 but it's not um like fluid in a way um so let's go ahead and start with your person uh, we have five here uh financial material changes and staying focused on what's in front of you. It looks like this person had a tough time being present with you because they're probably focused on uh, financial changes. When they met you, probably they were in between jobs or they were, um, I'm also getting someone in their laptop, but it's kind of like, like practice test. Yeah, someone was doing, and it's not like the DMV practice test. It was, um, I don't know if someone's studying uh, CNA, nursing, or um, it was something about health. So I'm guessing it will be around this area. Um, with the pilgrim, with 20, this is the judgment. This is basically also the culmination of what has happened here. I think there's a full stop in your relationship. Um, with Twin Flame, I don't know if your person realized that you're their divine counterpart or this is a high level soulmate, not necessarily Twin Flame, but it could be for some of you guys. We have a knot, a surrender. When I let go of the reins of control, I thrive. I'm getting here with your person that they probably controlled information on what they could tell you. I don't think they were necessarily forthcoming, but it wasn't kind of like lying either. Um, and this is kind of like omitting telling the truth. So it's kind of like in the boundaries of lying, but when you kind of confront them, they would try to wiggle their way out of it. What you don't know is this person with depression, I think there were an emperor or empress at one point in their life. And for some reason, um, 20 could be significant. So maybe 2020 when things started dropping for them. And not only did financial aspect drop, but their mental health started dropping. Um, this person right now stays awake thinking about you. I'm getting probably around nighttime. And with karma balance here, they probably think their action or lack thereof actually caused even more damage to them um, when it comes to how they bring abundance into their life. With staying focused and elk, elk represents earth and being grounded. Maybe there was not, not a lot of grounding in this because they, again, they were focused on uh, how they I'm really getting someone always changing jobs cuz I don't think it's ADHD in a way it's more of um this person does not like criticism or when they take criticism they take it to heart and when they don't like their job when there's negative um, aspect to their mental health when it really affects them they kind of shift to a different place or they kind of just freeze out i'm also getting someone um not paying one bill this month because they're kind of shifting it to pay another bill and then next month they're going to pay the one that they didn't pay last month and kind of shifting it to the other one 
Yeah, this person really went through like something tough. But for some reason, through their hard times, this person actually started ascending, I think, in their, uh, the way they started thinking. Because that's the only thing, when you're rock bottom, the only thing you can do is go up. And when they were at the very bottom, it looks like this person um, found their way out to claw the hole. And this is through their mindset. Um, once they're overcoming this depression, this person will start reaching out. Um, and also they had a realization, I think in between staying up at night and really going through what happened, um, realizing that you're actually the person that would accept them thick and thin. Um, you said something with this, uh, that actually opened their eyes as well. Or maybe it's like how you guys have a psychic bond and you guys seem to read each other's minds without having to say it as well. So let's go ahead and get this um, crystal. We have carnelian, courage, motivation, endurance, powerful and bold. Carnelian increases confidence in yourself, especially when you need to take center stage and use your voice effectively. A stabilizing stone, carnelian helps balance volatile emotions for long-term vitality. Believed to protect the soul in the afterlife, carnelian is a stone of the living meant to motivate you to take chances with the life that you have. Life is meant to be lived with passion and desire, and Carnelian gives you the courage to do so. Carpe diem, seize the day. This is Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Sun Energy. Okay, so they realize that you're basically the sunshine in their life. Um, let me see what else. We have turning point. You're realizing there's no easy way out of this karmic love, but you're beginning to take your power back and make those long overdue changes. Okay, I'm getting not necessarily like karmic love. It's more of like the karmic binds that they bind on themselves with. It's more of like how they probably handle their finances and how they handle when they're in the bind and how they handle the people around them. So it's just not necessarily you that they had to kind of fix. It's more if they have children, how they um, treat like family members. And it's just, um, it was like a toxic trait that kind of like, if I'm having a bad day, like everyone's going, I'm going to be shitty with people around me. It's like that, which is kind of really messed up. We have soul activation. You're awakening to your soul purpose and claiming your place in the world, feeling inspired to showcase your gifts and talents. We have mirroring. Your twin flame is reflecting back the truth. This can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins to run from the relationship. So not only there's mirroring, but there's a lot of back and forth, maybe a lot of makeups and break breakups as well. We have gossip and opinions. There's so much outside influences that are affecting this relationship. It's delaying and preventing it from ever becoming anything serious. Lastly, we have attachment. Get to know your attachment patterns so you can be more conscious in your romantic relationships and stop self-sabotaging. So with mirroring energy here, it looks like you guys we're probably mirroring each other like slowly deteriorating the relationship what was once very precious what was once very psychically um in tune with each other you guys let other people penetrate um this precious energy that you guys are supposed to protect i think um this is a lesson for you guys to um learn i'm gonna get twin flame messages later on um let me get clarifiers. Change of Michael, can you clarify for Aries, please? No contact. I need five. Okay, we have Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Okay, so your person is slowly coming out of this depression is due to the financial instability so it looks like they're finding a decent job that i still feel like this is not necessarily left out they, they probably move a lot or they travel a lot for work and it looks like for quite some time maybe winter time is really the slowest time of the year for them so around winter time this is when they pin a pinch likely okay so we have mirroring high priestess 
and not only are you guys both very intuitive, but this person probably does not tell you what is happening. Um, Sorry if you could hear my dog. We have six of pentacles. All right, so I think both of you guys like to hang around with friends, or they did. I'm getting like, not just a group, I'm getting like a soul tribe that's been known each other for like 10 years or more. This is like a solid crew of group of people. With soul activation here, I think one of you guys had awakening ahead than the other one, but it looks like your person, if you had the activation firsthand, your person um, just had their activation and slow, slowly realizing what this is. And I think this person, I'm seeing page of wands in my mind's eye, this person's probably researching what this is all about. So if one is freezing out the other, the other one would readily freeze the other because it's a marrying energy and with gossip and opinion this is again with through i think these these are related i think the turning point was when in the very beginning they were okay with people talking shit maybe having like differing opinions about you about this relationship but i think there was a tipping point maybe up to n like nine months in uh this person probably could not take the crap that was being um like what they're hearing. Uh, this is their close friends, literally, like people that they love um, or maybe family that they can't handle anymore. So they kind of like pop the cork. With attachment, um, I think the self-sabotaging way is they hold whoever gives them opinion um, or like advice, they hold these people in high esteem so when they tell them like one um, like an advice on how to handle a relationship they really take it to heart and start applying it so you'll actually see it from very close to like the immediate distance that's when they start listening to other people okay so let's go ahead and carry on Okay, so what happens next? Sorry. What happens? What's the next chapter like after this? Okay, strength reversed. Ten of swords. King of cups. Ten of cups reversed. Queen of cups. Okay, so what was once a very thriving relationship? I don't know if you're married to this person, but I'm seeing this as their soul tribe. Because um, I think they chose the people that they listened to in the very beginning, but in the end, it looked like they were betrayed by these people and it was too late when they actually realized what was happening. Um, they're in the King of Cups upright this is someone that has control over their emotion, again, just out of depression. So this is a very healthy kind of King of Cups. But they actually acknowledge as well that you're not ready to give in. Um, they see you as the Queen of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups upright is someone very loving, very forgiving, um, sometimes to the point where it's kind of like having this doormat energy. Um, but what they don't realize is with Queen of Cups, um, they give and give and give until there's nothing left to give. And once they have that threshold of just enough is enough, it's really tough to bring back the Queen of Cups to loving you and that same energy they once did. So this person is really in their feels right now. Okay, let's go ahead and let me change that. So, what else do you want? Ooh. We have the devil with 42. I don't know if your person's 42 or 6 is uh, significant. We have shadow self, addiction, obsession, limits, dependency, lust, excess, materialism. And we have 33. Um, 
What is that unlock? That's Leo Sun Energy. What else, Michael? We have Lilies with 30. That's Wisdom, Sex, Maturity, Experience, Older Person, Long Process, Heritage. So this is them realizing. You could be seeing a lot. 333. Three, three. We have Clouds, Doubt, Hesitation, Confusion. This is when they were in their depression. Okay, so there's a lot of Capricorn energy. This could be someone's Ascendant or Descendant. Or Saturnian energy. Um heavy on someone's charts and we have 41 tunnel this is passage journey i'm seeing this as more of a coming out of um, dark times because if you see the transition here the key you were the key to this person's um renewal rebirth um but it looks like when they matured they saw the damage they've actually accrued in this relationship and the moment they came out of this tunnel you were gone basically and they were like you felt like home to this person or they wanted to make a home with you all right so let's see hidden messages What does Eris' person want to tell them right now, Michael? Take these. We have, I regret lying to you. I feel you leaving me behind. I want to feel that way again. And we have, I wish I could take back my words. Let me get Twin Flame messages since Twin Flame is there. I just wanted to know where they are in their journey. For anyone going through Twin Flame, Michael, can you give me like three cards, please? Messages. Okay, we have Karmic Ties. My heart is with another right now. I have to finish this Karmic contract in order to be free. actually started to they started talking to an ex while they were with you I'll clarify that in a little bit we have there are subconscious fears affecting our ability to attract love and abundance the universe is helping us make them conscious so we can easily attract what we want including each other 11 I'm seeing synchronicities like your name or 1111 and working out what they mean I need the okay we have our mission is to be unconditional love clearing our programming is a necessary part of opening our hearts let me clarify what this is what is that what is this karmic ties okay because i'm seeing this as more of a transitional thing so in the very beginning your person probably was still not over their ex and they were talking to them i don't think there was anything physical but they were kind of entertaining their, someone's call someone's messages and it actually put them in their head and i think they actually told one of their friends about this and their friends probably were friends with this person and you're basically kind of left out of the conversation um what is this what's the karmic ties So I don't know where you are in this timeline. If you are in the very beginning, in this stage, just kind of like let them be. Don't let them, um, just let them be. We have good news, messages, texts. So this person, again, was getting, um, okay, so this person was getting calls from their ex and kind of pulling them back to, um, back to them and what they didn't see was the rare gift because twin flame is such a rare not a lot of people go through twin flames um high level soulmate basically is the one that really um 
because it's really hard to differentiate the two. If you compare them, they would probably have the same energy. They would have the same placements technically. Let's say your twin would have like Venus and Aries and your ex high level soulmate would have moon and aries it's kind of like that it's going to be like differing so you don't really know which one's which which is important because you really have to sharpen your intuition and just go with how you feel inside and that's how you know like where you're where the divine is leading you to, towards a better path because you'll know deep down um which one is going to be toxic for you um and they didn't see this rare gift So their person was um, living paycheck to paycheck. Also, I'm getting that they went over with their ex when they met you, but they still started dating you. Or their ex started helping them out with bills. And for some reason, they didn't tell you that they had problems um, money-wise. And they just um, became really cold because they had to survive. That's crazy. I mean, I can't fault someone when they're like in the very bottom. Like it's tough to um, judge someone when it's, you know, life and death. It's either you eat food or be truthful. Um, but there's a better way to address someone and not just kind of like be, being cold and just cut someone out. Um, let's see when their next possible, but this is not for everybody. I just want to point that out, this twin flame situation. Um, so if that's not your case, if you know your person wasn't dealing with an ex or you felt like they weren't dealing with an ex, then that is not your storyline, hon. Just don't, just take it away from the situation. You'll know. You'll know. Since you are psychically bonded, you'll know. You don't even have to ask. You'll know. Okay, so Michael, next possible contact for um, Aries' person. Okay, that's a lot. We have early in the month, the aha moment will arrive, discovery, epiphany, breakthrough. Don't wait for clarity to get started. We have lost in time, you must know where you're going. Uh, get clear on your desires. And we have farther in the future when you have moved on, your starseed, innovative pioneer, your awakening into higher dimensions. And we have Aquarius season, you're ahead of time, eccentric, detached, individuality, makes decisions based on social good. So I don't know which one's which. We have early in the month and then we have snail space here. We have it will take a while. Keep a good attitude while waiting, gradual dragging, creeping, make a decision when you feel your best. So it could be an Aquarius season. It could be taking a while. This is just really kind of in and out, Michael. There's one that's early in the month. So a month from where you've clicked on this video. And we have special date in the bottom. It will be a meaningful event. So it could be a birthday, um, something important like an anniversary or like the day you guys met. Uh, timing is of great importance. All right, so let's head to what's next. What's next for Aries and their person? We have Page of Pentacles, Practical, Trustworthy, Personification of All Earth Signs, Cardinal Fixed. So Page of Pentacle is really offering something, but it's not like an Ace of Pentacle, but it's a small, small gesture um, wanting to commit. So it's either you wanted to reach out to them and offer this, or it's them reaching out to you. But I'm sensing that it's them, because they're the ones that can't... Um, sleep at night and we have Archangel Michael with Jupiter the wheel of fortune fate destiny um, 10 ready for a new cycle basically and we have the Hierophant with Archangel Sandoval and Venus um, this is spiritual wisdom uh, belief system and king of wands cardinal fixed leader entrepreneur honor so not only will this person offer the five of commitment at uh, the five of commitment <laughs> like the commitment uh, they want to offer you that they're gonna tell you that they want 
um, this uh, stabilizing force as you know a way as a promise that is going to lead towards marriage um, this person also may be starting a new business um, that you don't know about and we have Mercury here with Mercury and Taurus, Five of Pentacles, Hard Times, Feeling of Lack. What is this? I think this was in the past. But I think this person still has this energy with them. I guess in a way it's a good thing because if you if you feel like in the lack, you're always going to be tightening your purse strings so you don't go lack later on. Um, it's kind of like how like that mentality where um i was reading something about like uh, jeff bezos um like stingy in like one uh aspect like this is someone that would not spend frivolous frivolously uh this is um when you invest you invest in something long term um so this person when they invest they have to kind of look into like up and down of like stock market like the long-term potential um this person does not want to fall on hard times again i think this person learned their lesson hardcore we have um knight of pentacles unwavering thorough realistic so they took quite a bit um I don't know if it's been nine months since you've heard from this person, but it looks like the spiritual awakening, spiritual wisdom, um, they got through this from the past. That's why they took forever to come to you. But I'm really feeling with the Wheel of Fortune, things have shifted for them. And then we have Queen of Cups upright, loving, stable, flow, caring. This is where they want to head to offer you this love, hoping to um, shift you from the Queen of Cups reverse to upright. Um, what else? Then I'll do the rest of the, um, so it's up to you what you want to do. Actually, let me look at what happens next. I need cards. Um, I'll take the, just, what happens next after this? If they do take back the person, what happens, Michael? What happens if they take back the King of Wands? We have the Magician. We have Seven of Pentacles. We have High Priestess. Ace of Pentacles. And Three of Swords. Okay. It looks like I'm hearing prove it to me. It's going to take you a while to invest in this relationship. You're going to notice whatever this person is doing. So be careful when you tell this person um, if you do want to reconcile. Um, tell them where you're at. Tell them that it takes a while for your trust to build. And they have to actually prove themselves that this time they're going to really invest in this um not like the last time and again intuition is highly like important here for you um because i think you're also very skeptical if this new beginning still remains um like it's gonna be tough to have this new beginning if you still have this pain um it, within you you have to heal this heartbreak you have to or this renewal would not be possible it won't even last for that long you can't harbor this within you ace of wands so it would be really tough for you to fully invest in this wholeheartedly especially becoming intimate with this person it might trigger you or you might not like it as much as you used to because of this heartbreak so before you fully jump into this relationship tell them that you have to heal first you need to kind of clear um anything that you guys have to discuss clear everything out all the cobwebs so you guys can have a clean slate but this looks really good uh queen of pentacles 
And this is also um, balanced infinity symbol. So learning how to balance each other out. When someone is mad, um, just be patient with them and also compassion. Um, this renewal is a possible and the commitment, the long-term commitment um, looks good. It's just that learning how to trust and it's gonna take a while to rebuild this as well. So just be realistic with your expectations with them and hopefully they ex their expectations with you. And don't have such a high of bar to um, for this person that it's going to be impossible for them uh, to kind of achieve. All right, so what else do you wanna say, Michael, for Aries? We have imagination. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. We have intuition. Follow your intuition. It will always lead you to the right destination. That's right, High Priestess. And we have true love. Love is the doorway through which the human soul passes from selfishness to service. And we have sensuality. Music is the mediator between spiritual and the sensual life. And we have friendship. Friendship has always belonged to the core of your spiritual journey. And I'm also getting here, getting to know this person at a friend level before getting intimate with them would really have that solid foundation later down the road. And it's going to be very important um, to know if this person could be the one that will take care of you when you're sick. Um, also taking, like if you lose your job, would this person be able to help out with the bills? children if you guys plan to have children will this person help out with um child care and all that stuff like you have to and also look into their past if they have like really um like bad tendencies on how they handle um like breakups listen how they talk about their exes if they have nothing but praises or nothing but like toxic stuff that they um, tell you about their ex because that could be very um, vital later down the road and how they will be treating you just in case things don't work out you know what I mean and you have inner world you are a mass you are your master only you have the master keys to open the inner locks all right so let's get your uh, guidance we have 94 with preparing for union we have 46 expect to travel 43 worth a second chance and we have prince of autumn dependable protective chivalrous humorous cautious but wise action meticulous attention to detail kindness to others and we have king of spring innovative inspiring wise theatrical a financial windfall your leadership skills are needed now and an unexpected supporter of your cause so you might be doing well in your job and you might have a bonus or like a massive financial windfall i'm also getting like winning something so i don't know if that's lottery or just winning like like a big pot that's uh, being like if there's contest in your job but this is something really good. So you're gonna get an extra boost in your income. And we have, I will treat myself with respect. When I treat myself with kindness, life will also treat me with kindness. Camel, trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. And we have outdoors, Archangel Jophiel. Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Okay, let me get um, final messages from Archangel Michael, Michael, this is right. final message for Aries before I head towards um, all signs. We have King of Cups with Rochelle 69, God seeing everything, restitution, find stolen objects and discover the person responsible. Hmm. And we have King of Swords, 11, the Exalted God, Victory, grants victory and protection from lightning. Also, if you're dealing with anything um, legal, you're going to get um, victory in this. We have Eight of Swords, 14, God, Protector and Savior, Truth and Justice, protection from enemies, and who would steal one's fortune. We have restitution here. I don't know if you had anything stolen with you, but know that 
they're going to find someone responsible for it. I just get one more, and we have five of cups. Prosperity, destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. This is God, King, and ruler. I don't know how to say that. That does, that looks complicated. And lastly, we have two of wands uh, with Jeliel. Number two, the helping God, love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. So that's from the gossip and whoever was spreading rumors there earlier. So let's go ahead and do all signs. Let me tip this. Is, oh, thing is so tight. Okay, let's do Aries dealing with Capricorn. We have yes, new perception. They see you in a different light and want to get to know you more purely by chance. We have girl with a snake, empath, and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used in able boundaries. We have allowing appreciation. We have six chalices, queen of swords, judgment. Okay, what I'm getting here is this is probably an ex or someone close to your person. Um, it looks like I'm ha getting heavy projection. Um, it's like bleeding into a relationship that wasn't you. Uh, what fault their ex did in the past, it looks like they were blaming you for it. Like it, there's like a lot of unhealed scars here. Um, and I think this perspective just happened like out of the blue. Um, and they, pink is, uh, from the heart chakra so they see they're seeing you in that light where um all you did was give them love with six of chalices this could be like a past life um soulmate or this is from your childhood but i'm getting like past life soulmate here and this person wants a renewal and you'll know this when they start reaching out and they're kind of terrified in a way that you're you might um not be in the very receptive energy but again like though they were going to be cautious anxious about this they're not, it's not going to stop them from reaching out to you okay let's go ahead do aries aquarius we have yes testing the waters before making a big decision they want to test the waters and make you make sure you feel the same spring spring could be significant um this is probably when you've met them or when they might reach out next we have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, and also getting like stalker vibes or just watching you online. We have amplifying abundance. We have four of pentacles, the emperor, and five of wands. So it looks like if you're posting a lot of photos, this person is still holding back from reaching out because um, I think they're amplifying abundance in their self-confidence. Um, I don't know if they've gained weight, but I'm sensing they might have... Um, this person is working out a lot. Um, if you're posting uh, where you're with a lot of, like, a group of friends, people, and it looks like you've leveled up beauty-wise, this person feels very competitive in that sense. Yes, they're coming back to see if you have forgiven them or you're in this receptive energy. But they're in this emperor mode, so very... Um, large and in charge kind of way and i'm also I'm getting like they're obsessed with looking so good for you i don't know why but yeah that's where they're at we have pisces no awakening they are healing and moving in the right direction getting close to union when the healing is done so this person is still healing we have dragonfly be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal we have Anchoring the Light, Page of Pentacles, Hanged Man, and Chariot. So this person is still coming out of that tunnel that we saw earlier. Um, they're in the process of awakening, but they haven't fully grasped what it means. So they're still in this Hanged Man energy, polishing their coins, basically, until they're ready to move forward. So, well this person is still I'm, I don't recommend waiting whatsoever so also go ahead and work on yourself polish your coins and um, focus on career and bettering oneself because this person is doing their damnness to get out of this depression um, also like um, I'm getting uh, conditioning they have like 
the weird mindset that they're kind of um, entangling from. Okay, let's go ahead and do Aries. Aries, we have no third party. They're involved with someone else who they feel obligated to when you put yourself first. We have date, meeting someone new, creating cooperation. We have two of wands, the tower, and knave of swords. Um, what Archangel Michael is telling you, Aries dealing with Aries, uh, you have to put yourself first and when you go out and date, you're going to meet this Knight of Swords. It could be an air sign or um, Scorpio. This is also going to come through really like fast. Towers are good in a way where it gets you out of stagnation. This, this will come out of the blue. And Knight of, uh, Knave of Swords is someone that's very truthful. Um, this is a kind of no holds barred kind of person. Uh, this is someone that would give you the bullet points of their life, what they expect when it comes to someone they date, um, where they want to go after this. It's kind of like that. So if that's what you appreciate, um, there's someone coming through. Um, someone with tattoos as well. Looks like a bad boy like rebel kind of thing but this person's a softy inside but you won't even know so the person that you're asking about um, this is all for you basically creating cooperation with a divine um, to move on to the next phase okay we have uh, Aries Taurus we have yes taking action no more talk they want you to sh they want to show you and put in the work to repair what they've broken it's not too late we have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. We have processing grief, the devil, ten of cups, the sun. Oh yeah. Okay, you're this person's kryptonite at the same time, sunshine. And the devil is not always bad. You're basically in the baser sense. You... That you're basically the fantasy come to life to this person in the bedroom in life in general you're you're it so yes this person's gonna crawl back and they're gonna show you how they appreciate you in and out of the bedroom okay let's go ahead and do Gemini we have yes recent breakup they ended their relationship to be with you it's up to you if you want to take them back summer summer could be someone's name or summer could be significant or the next um, action towards you would be summertime we have the phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation anchoring the light six of pentacles knight of wands three of wands so this person's looking into the future and it looks like um where they came from is a very like they're the ones only giving in into the relationship and the other person was take, take, take person. Um, and they're realizing that with you, there's equality with you and they appreciate it. And also I'm seeing apples here instead of temptation. It's more of like, um, it could be also wisdom. It's um, learning uh, where to best engage or invest for the future. And not only was it stable with you equal as well but they admire you in a way that how you achieve your goals also with knight of wands this is a passionate energy so yes they see you in their future so they're coming i think also they got distracted for a while i don't know if this is a uh, long term uh no not long term long distance so i think distance was a very big thing i don't know if it's emotional distance or just i'm getting like different states different country kind of distance so this is what happened here we have cancer sorry if you could hear like cars my windows open we have no rebirth going through a dark night of the soul the space between who they were and who they will become when you're in a relationship so this person's coming back when you've um, when you're basically not a, not available anymore. We have photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. We have balancing the brain, page of swords, nine of pentacles, 
and hangman. This person is still, I don't know if this person's in school or they're studying a new career path, but it looks like um, they're doing this for their own independence. Um, this person might have a lot of like jobs under their belt, like different kinds of jobs. This would be someone that let's say knows how to do nails but they're like a PhD in something it's kind of like that like it's this person is very um, versatile that's the word I'm looking for but right now they're in this hangman like looking for like percent different oh yeah they're being put into this forced hangman position to kind of realize what they've done wrong in the past I don't think this person has even apologized yet and that's where the divine is kind of rooting for them to kind of have this enlightenment so for now um they're in this position okay so we have leo we have no grass is greener trying to replace you or believe they can find someone better not worth waiting for we have keys on the ring many options decision unconventional string along one i stand we have encountering conflict Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, Ten of Coins. Okay, your person does not like when they're being um, countered with questions. So if they feel like, not in the offense, when they feel like there's pushback, when you start, when they feel like you're doubting them, their capability, like trust issues, this person bolts out the door. Um, I don't even think they've had really like long relationships because this is someone that if it's not making them happy, this is me, 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 um, they're just going to go. And I don't even think this person has a lot of relationships that had no closures, proper closures. I don't think they have. And again, they always go towards grass is greener, but for some reason they haven't found this green grass it's just a perception they have and if they don't realize what they're doing they're just gonna keep on repeating the cycle over and over and over again i hope this person gets an enlightenment though because money is not everything okay let's go to virgo we have no devoid of light not in a good place emotionally right now heartbreak or depression when you see angel signs we have coffee cup, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. We have inspiring others, judgment, six of pentacles, the fool. Okay, it looks like this person is still, they need to see the light in a way where they have not um, realized, sorry if you could hear cars, um, though they want renewal, like the opportunity is there it's just it you know when you're depressed when you're sad it takes like moving to do your laundry to do dishes it's just so tedious like it takes it feels like i don't know i can't explain it i've had this kind of depression before i was in bed technically for three months just crying like this is how i feel like andrea bocelli was in like on repeat for three months basically and my roommates had to knock on my door wondering if i was still alive like this is kind of the feeling i'm getting here this person needs to be inspired um to live again um and this is not something like the heartbreak with you would have probably been um like like just a contributing factor but one of their main thing here was actually in the past they have to close um this is like an inner childhood wound that kind of just the it's it's gotten bigger and they have not addressed it and they have to so they could go and carry on without this pain and this is not a heartbreak for me i'm getting like a parental heartbreak one that was not with them Maybe someone beat them up when they were younger, or not necessarily, but they were abused in some way. 
and the heart started bleeding in a sense and I don't think this wound has healed all right so let's carry on to Libra we have no from a distance feel safer watching you from a distance checking social media within a year's time okay we have competition enemy clever malicious there's no other woman this person is just checking if you're trustworthy but I don't even think you're talking to this person really they just wanted to study you where to see if you're trustworthy because I think when you dated this person they didn't trust you but it's not like you guys are together but they're still wanting to know if you're the type that would date around I think this person got cheated on and it's not just one time so trust issue is kind of like huge resolving anger eight of chalices judgment and emperor so once they've realized that what they probably accused you in their head if they had not verbally said it and they just walked away in their feels and anger probably freezing you out um, the moment they realize that none of the shit they accused you in their mind that happened actually they're gonna come back in this emperor energy um, really taking charge of the situation let's go to Scorpio we have you deserve better there's someone better waiting for you overcome your fear of the unknown when you embrace freedom we have hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand gambling we have embracing worthiness three of swords six of swords Knight of Swords. So, the person coming towards you, if you embrace freedom, is a Knight of Swords. Moving away from this heartbreak. Let me get cards, please. Who is this Knight of Swords for Aries dealing with Scorpio? We have Ace of Swords. This is someone truthful, um, no bullshit kind of person. We have Temperance. Also, this is not someone that you can just uh, push around and provoke to be angry. This is someone very calm and um, they don't get angry that quickly. That's what I'm getting. And this is someone that does not easily commit where um, they don't leave either. What the hell? What is this? Ace of Cups. Okay. So this person would want to date for a while and not date a lot of people. They're going to date you, get to know you and see if you guys really sync up in a way where your beliefs um future like what you want if you want children if you just want to travel be single this person is looking for a wife they're not looking for just like fun in the sun kind of thing summer flings no they want a wife so if you're not into the whole committed thing um wanting to get married um this person is looking for someone to marry to and they're looking all the criterias like if you guys uh, mesh in the bedroom like chemistry is huge as well um yeah this person is looking for a wife okay let's go ahead and do sagittarius we have no unawakened, doesn't have the same awareness of the connection, can't rush the process, time to focus on yourself. We have mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship reflects our wounds. We have unhooking the past, ten of chalices, eight of pentacles, and nine of wands. Okay. So it looks like your person in the past here, they had, I don't know if this is a friend group or this is something that they really worked hard on or this is an ex that they really invested they're all in and they did not what they actually invested they didn't get a fraction of what they've invested in and the heartbreak that they realized i 
think it kind of bled into the relationship um, where you probably got confused why it was this way. It's like the more love you give, it's like the more hate. Not hate, that's such a strong word. It's like they become really like abrasive or very um, guarded. Okay, so when you focus on yourself, what happens next? I need cards. Mm, let's get the tarot familiars. What happens next for um, Sagittarius? I mean, Aries dealing with Sagittarius. Where are they heading to if they leave this person behind? Okay, we have Four of Wands, Door of Stability. Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, King of Swords. Okay, this could be someone that I think you're going to be dating a lawyer or someone that's in high up in the organization. This could also be a boss or someone that's kind of boss like because their job they have to kind of fend off people so i don't know if this is a military man but i'm really getting more of like a lawyer or like a, some someone in the law policeman um and they probably travel for work or they're it could be again the law but this is going to be a stable relationship for you or you're studying to become a lawyer. If you are and you're wondering about your bar exams, you're going to pass it, by the way. Justice, oh my gosh. Eight of Cups. Knave of Wands. So again, this is like heavy law energy for me. This is someone that will put justice first um, before their passions. So this is someone very responsible. Uh, if they have to go back to the office at like Sunday, um, I, guess there, I guess there's like a silver lining in it in a sense. Um, this person's very busy, but this person's going to be loyal to you. And I'm also getting, if you head to this relationship, you're gonna be learning so many things. Um, not only will this person be your mentor, but they're all gonna give you a lot of tokens of wisdom that would be relevant um, wherever you're gonna be heading towards. So if this is not the kind of relationship you want as a permanent thing, know that this person is going to be a stable energy for you. Um, I'm hearing it could be a transitional uh, relationship where they would heal whatever wounds you have. It's kind of messed up if you say it that way. But this is a divinely guided relationship towards you because I think wherever you're heading or if this is where you want to just have like a stop, this is, um, I'm really getting you're going to learn so many things. And these swords, these are wisdom that you could apply later on that would be a benefit to have in your arsenal. So I don't know where you're heading, but this would be very be beneficial for you. So I don't know if this is a mentor turned relationship or like, or someone a little bit older than you. Okay, so this is, I, I like this a lot. I, I realized, you know, I had to learn things all by myself, but had I had a guide really telling me which was which, life would have been different for me in that kind of sense. Um, again, uh, let me just get messages, lasting ones, and then I'm done for today for Aries. 
have six of pentacles giving receiving balance so when it comes to relationships aries know that you need to have equal give and take there's something about your energy that if you give too much you feel discombobulated and it's really important when it comes to love that what you give you equally receive them because uh i think it's part of like your karmic thing like uh it's in your dna that if it's imbalanced like it kind of bleeds into all of the aspects of your life so this is very important thing lesson for you to learn um in this lifetime all right so this is all i have for you for um no contact i'm gonna do another one next month uh to see where this energy overall is going to head all right have a great week bye